Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here with the lovely Zena and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Zena's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give her when we work with her and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any adjustments that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on her training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that you're, we're using. Rich will introduce you to that training equipment tomorrow and teach you how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now she's sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Zena heal. Now at this point, Zena has a job to do and that is to walk with you. Not drag you down the street, not be forging ahead or lunging out, but matching pace with you. And each time that you stop your feet, she has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. If you turn, she should turn. If you stop, she should sit. And she's a smart girl. She's just very, very high strung. So this drill that we're demonstrating for you today on video is a good thing to practice with at home to help to control her energy level and her need for speed. She's very always on heightened alert, always looking for something to be distracted by, a bird, a squirrel, a leaf. But you can see that she absolutely can run through these commands almost without bridge. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise we do not use her name. The long sit stay when you're practicing at home is helping to build self-control and maturity. Start out at about 30 seconds and slowly work up to three minutes and I'm talking over the next several months. When Rich returns back to her, he walks all the way around her counterclockwise back to heel position. He stops at her shoulders. That's very important because then she expects to get another command. And this is going to make you want to take her for a walk because she's going to be well mannered on the walk. She's not going to be dragging you and pulling your arm out of the socket. Rich leaves her in another sit stay and turns to face her. And this time, instead of returning back to her, Rich is going to demonstrate the come on command. He does use her name. He doesn't go overboard with the excitement because then she barrels in. She comes right in front and sits and then goes back to heel and back sitting. So you always want her, when you call her, to come to you and sit. That's very important. Stay. Her automatic sits are beautiful. Rich backed up even further this time, away from her. And you can practice indoors as well as outdoors. And even with the noise from the street traffic, she's doing very well and she is easily distracted now if rich slows down she should do the same so in a perfect world a little old lady could walk her she should always be matching your pace now this time we're going to demonstrate the down from a heel position. So with her seated at your left, you're going to take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground and give the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home can be practiced right in your living room. And you're going to work slowly up to a five minute long down stay. What we're trying to build with her is self-control, focus and maturity.
So she's not just bouncing all over the place. Rich returned back to her shoulders and stopped. And then he gives her another command. And he told her to heal again. Right turns, left turns, about turns, all help to keep her more focused on you when you're walking. Sometimes walking in a straight line gets boring for the dog and they stop focusing on you. And if you notice, Rich does not let her drop her head onto the ground. If you're controlling her head, you're controlling the whole dog. He gave her that down stay command again. Walks all the way out to the end of his six foot training leash. Gets ready to call her. She comes in like a lady and sits. So Zena has a lot of potential. Don't let her get over on you because you're seeing now for yourself that she knows these things and that she is able to control herself. When she got here, she was like a wild animal, and she's very smart, Malinois. Now this time, Rich is going to leave her in a sit-stay. Stay. He's going to turn to face her. He's going to use his right hand to give the command, and he's going to drop her into a down from a distance. And that is a harder command. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Zena's formal on-leash obedience commands. Rich is going to have a packet of information to go over with you. Housebreaking, crate training, obedience training is going to give you a chance to work with her. We've enjoyed having her. We want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company and we will see you very soon.